Hi everybody. Uh, today's video, I'm going to share some of my best tips for how I choose fabrics for my quilts. The fabrics that you choose for your quilts are very personal and they should be your choices and there's no hard and fast rules about how this should be done. Um, I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks to keep in mind to guide you and then the your heart is what should help you do the final decision. Um, first of all, let's talk what fabric is made of for quilts. 100% um, cotton is recommended. There are exceptions, like uh, for crazy quilting, you can use all kinds of fabrics for that. Keepsake quilts made from old clothing, and even vintage sheets that are cotton, polyester blend are used in quilts. But as a general rule for ease, uh, long lastedness, um, cotton, 100% cotton is suggested. I also suggest that you wash all the fabrics you're going to use for a quilt for three reasons. Um, one, you do advanced shrinkage, so if there is any kind of shrinking going to happen, it'll happen when you pre-wash. You release any extra dye, though that's not as big a concern these days as it has been in the past, but it's always good to, to just make sure. And the third most important reason is to get the chemicals that remain in, from manufacturing out before you start to work with them. Tip two, um, choose at least two colors to work with, unless you're making a one color quilt, of course. Contrasts, one warm, one cool color work well, like um, the warm colors are yellow, orange, and red, and the cool colors are violet, blue, and green, and yellow and violet go really well together. Um, orange and blue go very well together, and red and green go very well together as contrasting colors. Um, there's other combinations, of course, you could use, but that's the contrast is is a way you can use the, the sort of science of color to your advantage. Um, within that, once you choose your two colors, choose um, lights, mediums, and darks in those colors, and that'll give you um, your eye uh, a pleasant more pleasant than just if you stuck with exactly two colors. You want the darkers and the lighters to go with it to give it a sparkle. My best tip is to start with um, a multicolored print like this one. Oh, by the way, this is my beginner sampler. Um, here's a bit of a video I took of it so you can see the whole thing. And the second video is to show you the back. Um, that's just an extra to tell you that I like to, personally, I like to have a fabric on the back that's a fabulous fabric if I can, and um, that matches the fabrics I chose in the quilt. And with this particular one, that was a, an upholstery remnant I had, and it was it's just so beautiful, and it worked really well with, as a backing for this quilt.
All right. Um, so yes, uh, start with a, a multicolored print that becomes your main print, your star of your quilt. And this can be um, used in the quilt itself, like here, or it can become a border. Or you don't even have to use it at all, but if you love the colors in it, that's a great way to use and figure out what colors go together just by taking the colors out of the main print that you've chosen and choose other fabrics that are that color. So to start, you um, how I do it is I have a, a multicolor print that I usually want to use in my quilt and it becomes the star of my quilt and it has all kinds of colors in it that I can use when choosing my other fabrics and a good way to do that is to um, on the salvage there's usually dots with all the different colors in that fabric that will help you choose your other fabrics so for the rest of the fabrics, this is your star, but you, you need some players to play with it, play well with it. So think of it a bit of as a play, I guess. Um, the secondary fabric I like is a co-star, and it um, depends on the quilt, but in this case, it's this one. It's similar, it's very close in colors, but it's a different, um, smaller, spaced out rows and I used it for my sashing for this quilt and the, the small border and then there's also a background um, that you're going to need for some of your quilt some of your quilt probably in this case I did so for mine my background is like this light yellow gingham here and also this um, rosy pink that matches the roses in, in the quilt itself. All of those, those two work great as backgrounds. They're in the colors, but they um, themselves have an interesting um, look to them. Though a plain tone on tone probably would also work that's not as printed as that uh, it gives um what's the word i'm looking for uh, a pizzazz to it no that's a little too much it sparkles it it gives it a personality there that's the word a personality so besides the the background you want some prints that are a variety you don't want all florals you don't want all geometrics you don't want all tone on tones if you do a variety of them all that um, also helps with the personality of the quilt and gives it a charm and what I also like to do and this is just for fun I sometimes like to add one that's a little on the too dark side and one that's on the too bright side. And if you use those sparingly in just the right spot, they can give this extra sparkle to the quilt. It makes your eye dance when you're looking at it. Uh, what else? So you got your tone. And then you've got your bit players too. Things like I like in almost every quilt I make, I have plaids. And I have dots, and I just, those are some of the, uh, here's some more dots, some of the prints that are um, probably in your stash that will um, maybe play well with your main fabric. One of the things I really like with my, when I pick fabrics is I like to choose as many fabrics like lots of different fabrics in the same colors so it to me it gives it a charm to have um it's almost like a scrap quilt but a controlled scrap quilt in that in the that you've got all the colors ex working completely together as opposed to general scrap quilts they can be everything and there's a beautiful charm about them too but 
anyways, I do like to have many, many different versions of the same colors in my quilt. That is my, again, my personal preference. And please choose the fabrics that make your heart sing. That's, that's the right fabrics to choose for your quilt. Now, as a final thing, I'm going to talk about the neutral colors. If you're choosing um, a fabric, if your neutral has white as the neutral, then choosing fabrics with a too dark off white, it, it won't work. There's, there'll be some, if it's too dark, there'll just be something that doesn't, sits wrong about it. Now, on the other hand, if you're using an off-white or an aged look to your new, as a neutral and you have white fabric you want to use, white in a fabric you want to use, that also wouldn't work. But how you could make it work is if you tea dyed the fabric. But in that, you have to be aware that you're probably going to dull the color of that fabric as well. So it might not turn out the way you want. I suggest you, you know, clip a corner and do a test run and see you might like it okay in the description I'm going to include a link to a web page that I have that um, basically says what I just said to you with some pictures lots of pictures and different examples and I'm also going to include a link hoping I remember um to the technique page of my library in the library of my website where I have those how to's and you will find in the general section at the top one called choosing fabrics so you can um see that as a you can have that printed out so that it also gives you um, things to remember in the future if you, so you don't in case you're worried about forgetting all right I think I covered everything there I will watch the video and maybe I'll need to add something at the end um, let me know if you liked it um, comment let me know what if you have tips on how you choose fabrics for your quilts and yeah I'll see you next time bye thanks for watching